Apple has just announced its WWDC 2025 software updates, and it was... Fine. After overpromising and spectacularly under-delivering last year, Apple has played it safe this time. This year focuses more on visual polish and practical improvements rather than the revolutionary AI features. The headline this year is Apple's new liquid glass redesign, a unified aesthetic rolling out across all platforms simultaneously. It adds translucent glass-like elements with real-time rendering and dynamic specular highlights that respond to movement, making it all look like actual real glass, but it's not. It's on your phone it's on your screen most interesting on ios was visual intelligence which allows you to search and interact with anything on your iphone screen across all apps you can ask chat gpt questions about what you're viewing search for similar images and the system can recognize events for calendar integration for filmmakers constantly researching locations and gear this could prove genuinely useful when it arrives. Apple's also standardizing OS naming to year-based conventions, so now you have iOS 26, iPadOS 26, macOS 26, watchOS 26, tvOS 26, and visionOS 26, all launching this fall. macOS Tahoe 26 brings major spotlight improvements with intelligent result ranking and direct actions. Send emails or create notes without switching apps. Users can also run shortcuts and perform actions from the menu bar in the app they're currently working in, all without lifting their hands off the keyboard using new quick keys. The iPad continues its baby steps to becoming more like a desktop Mac with a new windowing system that enables fluid resizing and positioning. The Enhanced Files app offers resizable columns, customizable folders, and custom colors that sync across devices. A neat little hardware integration, AirPods 4 and AirPod Pro 2 users can now trigger photo and video capture by just pressing the stem, which is useful for hands-free shooting, but also useful for those too scared to ask someone to take a picture for them. While all this liquid glass stuff looks impressive and the productivity improvements are solid. This all feels more evolutionary than revolutionary. More pressing as far as Apple is concerned are the legal challenges and the impact that the ongoing tariff situation will have on hardware sales. WWDC is usually one of the high points of Apple's year, but for all the razzmatazz and all of Tim Cook's misdirection, you can't help feeling that the meat of Apple's story for 2025 lies not in Cupertino and Rainbow Park, but elsewhere. For more analysis on how these updates impact content creators, head on over to redsharknews.com.